My name is Eloy Phillips. I'm from Danbury High School. My EID is EAP2844, and this is my reverse engineering project redesign project. Our design challenge was our company is losing the public's interest to our competitor, and we are supposed to understand our competitor's flashlight and be able to improve upon it to put our company back on top. Last semester, we were given the customer focus of young children and their parental guardians as they're the ones who are generally gonna be buying the flashlight and looking out for their children's overall well-being. To, to improve upon this flashlight, we had to understand what exactly our customers wanted us to improve upon. So we did so in interviews by asking them questions such as, how would you typically use this flashlight? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? Do you have any suggestions for improvements? Who would use it in your household? These are important questions to ask exactly what the customer would like us to improve upon. And by understanding these needs, our group ranked them by frequency as a lot of the needs mentioned were repeated multiple times. So we gave those a rank from most frequent to least frequent. And in our interview, certain needs were stressed more than others, such as its uses and its overall quality was, in, was a big one. So we ranked its total importance also on this needs importance list. <clears throat> to understand exactly how we could improve upon it, we needed to get our baseline data for our pig light. And we did this with a metrics table, which, would, which meant we had to measure its weight and mass, or its mass in grams, its decibels to push the lever, the amount of newtons of force it took to push the lever, its light and lumens, and its overall body size. Our final product specifications for the body size is very similar to our competitors as the only thing we increased on the body size was its lanyard as this was in, in about a mid-tier importance on our needs importance table. We all, the quality of the light was a big deal for many of our interviews. So we added better bulbs and a better battery to conserve more energy. We created several functional models and sketches uh, before and after the disassembly process, which helped us generate more ideas and understand better the exact energy flow in which the pig light went through. Such as this, we, this is my functional model pre-disassembly, and I had forgotten to put place the button to, or the on and off switch in this, and this, we, I added it, and it also went more in depth with the energy flows, conversions, and storing, and this helped us to decide upon our final product. For our company, we had to create a technical drawing which had to be specific enough that we could send it to our company and they could be able to reproduce this from this alone with our improvements on such as my brick here and the longer lanyard with the adjustable piece on it. The ways our 
redesigned product improved upon the original is that we added an adjustable longer lanyard, which was a need really stressed more by the parents than the children. We also added better bulbs and a better light because the quality of the flashlight itself was not very good as many of the interviews or had stressed. We, the appearance of the light was the most frequent uh, mention in our important needs list. So we made it multicolored as children love things such as that. And we also made it glow in the dark, which was mentioned, but it was a very low uh, importance, but it was cheap and easy to implement in our product. We also added small bumps, grips, as other materials for a grip could be choked on, and this seemed like the safest, most efficient way to make it easier to hold on the light. And during our disassembly process, we were able to pull the nose off of the pig and see the inner workings and all the small parts inside which could be choked upon by small children. So we added more screws to hold the nose on the pig and the body of the pig together to make it much safer for these young children and make their parents happier and more likely to buy our product. And that is all.